of you who's been on my channel for a long time know that I've had a pretty rough life. Some of it was self-inflicted, some of it wasn't. One thing I can say, never try to be a one-upper. Some of you may not know what that is. That's, you know, someone's talking about, <clears throat> say for instance, when my wife and I lost our two-month-old child, and someone else hears about that and says, well, I've had a miscarriage. You see, it's always somebody's, I don't, I don't ever try to do that to people, to, to try to one-up them. You know, even if something I've been through is worse, I, I, I don't do that to people. And truthfully, I don't think anybody likes someone else to do that to them. Everybody deals with their pains differently. Not everybody could have went through the things in life that I went through. I may not have been able to go through things that other people have gone through. One thing I can say, none of it hardened my heart. If anything, it softened it. Glory to God for that. I didn't go to the bottle. I didn't go to the needle. That being said, I know <clears throat> all the horrible things that I've done in my life before coming to Christ. I know that I'm undeserving of anything from the Lord. But last night, was, I just give all glory to God for, for what happened. You know, as y'all can probably tell by the way I sound, I've been stopped up for a few days now. And since sinus surgery in 2019, I don't know why, my doctor looks at me kind of crazy when, when I tell her this. But... In 2019, I had surgery to get rid of polyps in my sinuses, and they were everywhere. Like, I had 1% airway in my nostrils. It was that bad. So I always talked, sounded like I was stopped up. I never noticed it, but everybody else did. Had I not had that surgery, they were telling me that I could have had a brain aneurysm or anything, you know? But I went ahead and did it. But ever since surgery... I don't get clogged up up here anymore. I can always breathe out of my nose. It goes down in my chest for some reason. So last night, I could not breathe. I wasn't scared. I just couldn't breathe. So I couldn't sleep. I stayed up till like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, struggling with a bunch of cracklings going on, you know, in my chest. And i tell y'all the truth about this. I have no reason to lie to anybody. I'd rather tell the truth than lie. Even if the truth gets me in trouble, so be it. My wife and I sleep with the, the ceiling fan on. Of course, I think everybody in the South does. If they don't, <coughs> I, I don't I don't know how they can do it. But the AC was on also. We have a vent right over our bed. That was going and the fan was going. But the vent is like right, right over our head. I was laying on my left side trying to catch my breath. All of a sudden, I felt a blow, like a blow. Went up my side, up my, my ear, my face, and it lasted for like 10, 15 seconds. I can't blow that long. I know I can't. It felt like a person blowing on me. It didn't feel like a fan. It didn't feel like the AC unit. It didn't feel like a fan at all, nothing. I, I, that's all I can explain. It just felt like someone blew on me. I didn't smell breath. I wasn't creeped out. I wasn't weirded out. But I'm going to tell you all the truth. As soon as that happened, after the 10, 15 seconds, however long it lasted, I could breathe. Y'all, I, I can breathe. I got chills talking about it. <laughs> God is amazing. For me, someone who don't deserve anything, and I know, I don't even ever ask God for dreams or anything. I don't. Because in my eyes, if I do that, I feel like I'm selfish if I ask for things like that. Because I don't deserve it. But it was so comforting to me that I did not ask the Lord to heal me. And he did. 
God is amazing, y'all. It goes to show that even if you feel distant from the Lord and you're in Christ, truly in Christ, He's always right there. It's not Him why we feel distant. It's us. Keep looking up, church, because Jesus is coming so very soon. I felt that too. I love all of you. Romans 10, 9-13. God bless.